Hey guys, I'm back and today I'm going to be talking about how to survive university as a single parent. Which sucks. What sucks about me is that um, I will literally come home from work, uh, tell myself get ready in the next 30 minutes and then take an hour and a half um, before that procrastinate and do whatever else. Um, so it's late. Um, it's 4 a.m. late. I was supposed to start filming at 1.30. And I got to go to the gym tomorrow morning. So this is what happens. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm going to film it in this video or, next, or my next video. But I have to do a, um, like ADHD video because I struggle with this constantly. It's literally the, wor the worst cycle. It's a vicious cycle of um, being all the, like just tired all the fucking time fatigue constantly um and then you get burnout and then you start all over again it's a constant cycle um so we're going to be talking about five different factors that come into play when you're organizing your life so that you can better succeed in university so the first one is getting a good schedule mapped out so for me i work full-time and i'm also a full-time student but the key is my job it works perfectly with um, me being a student because um, I don't do much. Um, and so I get to work on school. I get to study for hours on end while I'm at work. So that works perfect for me. And that is also another tip that I'm going to share with you guys is that um, get in a job that you can take that time to yourself and study like a sit down job, desk job. Um, any type of, uh, you know, sit down job. I mean, security uh, work is perfect for being in school full time, especially when you're a single parent, because you only get so much time when you're home with your kids, um, depending on what your daily routine is and your other um, responsibilities. Uh, two is you need to find uh, out how much time you need to study for each unit, chapter, whatever you're working on, on your, like, whatever classes or courses you have, you need to make sure that you know specifically how much time it takes you to do uh, one chapter, for instance. For me, most of my chapters take me on average between five to eight hours for just one chapter. And that's, you know, listening to the lecture while taking notes, reading the, um, doing your reading, taking notes, and also uh, reviewing everything. So, um, I figured out the perfect amount of time for me and how long it takes because, you know, with me having ADHD and everything, sometimes I get distracted. Sometimes I will read over something like multiple times and then I also get frustrated sometimes because I don't understand something. So for me, it just naturally takes a little bit longer to study so that um, so that's why I put that much time aside for me and I make sure I have that time. Um, and then the other one is um, if you're going to be in school full time and you want to work full time or even part time, make sure you have a job that works for you. Um, because if you're at a job, uh, you know, all day on your feet and it's a very fast paced oriented job, um, for me, I, I, that would not, I don't know where I would be if I had that type of job while in school, because, you know, when you get home, you're, you know, taking care of your child. So it's, 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 I would be burnt out if I had a job, um, that was constantly like, you know, um, on the move basically. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I can do all of the stuff that I do now because my, main job is very relaxed. Uh, the fourth tip is meal prepping or making sure you have something prepared, whether it be in the freezer, anything that you have a set aside that's ready to be prepped or, or cooked. So what I'll do or what I used to do uh, so much, um, I, I used to do, um, I used to meal prep anything. Like just, you know, I used to make like uh, soups, just like one pot uh, meals, um, it didn't have to be healthy. Anything that you could prep that you could freeze, um, that's going to help you uh, when it comes time to when you're coming home. Um, 
and you can, uh, when you're coming home and you need to take care of your kids or uh, child and you have to get them ready um, and just, you know, have fun with them, play with them, you know, give them that quality time while also not being worried that you have to like, you know, make supper and then do any, everything else that you need to do. You have supper ready, you know that. So that part of your day is taken care of way quicker. You get that done, you can do everything else and then you can get your studying done. Um, I find that helps me because Again, with my ADHD, um, sometimes I don't even like I don't feel motivated to even cook for myself, but I have a child. So I have to make sure he has food. So it's either uh, what I'll do, like sometimes like when I'm just overwhelmed with so much going on, I'll, you know, get takeout, which is not the best. Um, that's the worst case, case scenario. Or I'll just make him something and then just not make myself something until later when he's in bed. Um, so having something already prepared, uh, having something already prepared helps immensely, especially when you have to get your studying done at a certain time, uh, because you don't have to worry about, um, you know, sometimes cooking can take a while. Uh, for me, I'm a little bit quicker because I've been cooking for so long and I already know what I'm good at making, um, in a short span of time. But then again, at the end of the day, you, I, you know, I, I'm, I get distracted while I cook, uh, and I'm all over the place. So, um, having something prepared just makes everything so much more easier. What I found that helped me uh, with the transition in uh, for bedtimes is having a, a timer. So what I'll do is um, I'll just tell Cassius, okay, um, bedtime soon. Uh, we're going to put the clock on or the timer on for five minutes. I will physically show him the clock so he can register that he has about five minutes until we got to get ready for bed. Um, and so it, it's a transition. It's, it's a, a smoother transition. He knows what's about to happen. So when that clock goes off, um, or timer goes off, he knows what time it is exactly. Um, and so we start getting ready. Usually it's, it's very smooth. And I actually learned that, uh, technique from one of the parenting courses that I am, um, I, I did. So that is, um, it, it's, it works perfectly and you can use those, uh, you can use that transition in tool for like throughout your entire day but bedtime it works perfect so university is quite difficult i'm not gonna lie it's a lot um especially when you have your ma a major a minor and a certificate you have all of these different things that you really want to work towards um that you you know you have to have a um a, a good amount of size you know a good amount when I'm why do I make these fucking videos so late I'm tired of shit okay anyway you want to have some sort of motivation to get you through this because it is going to take so much in you to keep trucking along I, I so many times I want it to quit so many times I, I told myself I want to take a break I need to take a break I need to take a year off I need to take a break so I can focus on my other stuff and look look at me now I'm like you know in my fourth year of university I still have uh, a bit of time left obviously but because I'm not um I don't have a full, full course load and also I'll get to that point because um you know when you're a mother and you have other responsibilities five, five course load is just not realistic I mean that is for the average student but uh for me I take three classes per semester and that's why I'm you know going at the pace that I am and that just works perfect for me. I'm able to focus on those three courses perfectly and get the um, best marks that I possibly can with that course load amount. Um, but you need to have some sort of motivation to get you through this because even the average student um, is just bogged down um, every single semester. And, um, you know, with me, I get overwhelmed sometimes. And, you know, I feel like for me specifically, uh, for my diagnosis, I am just always, I always feel um, like a, I'm like chronically stressed constantly. And it, it gets, you know, it gets tiring sometimes. So that's why um, for me, self-care is extremely important. For anyone, self-care is extremely important. But for me specifically, I need a lot of it because um, I'm just constantly stressed out out of, you know, the smallest things. Um but my motivation to get me through school is um, walking across that stage uh, with my son um, beside me or being able to look at him uh, in the crowd while I am walking across that stage to receive 
uh, my degree. And um, I envision that um, every single time where I doubt myself, uh, where I doubt myself that um, if I can make it or not, um, I envision that. And that's what gets me through is my son. So find your true motivation to get you through university is one key part of surviving. 